Welcome to St James's Church Southam online worship for this week. It's really lovely to be with you. My name is Reverend Vicky and I'll be leading you through our service today. This week we're continuing to look at the fruits of the Spirit and this week we're looking at the fruit of peace. So let's pray as we begin our worship. Father God, we thank you for gathering us together to worship you, to praise your name, to hear your word, to lift our prayers to you. So I pray that you will be with each one of us now that you will speak to our minds and our hearts, that you would draw us ever closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. So let us pause for a moment as we approach our time of confession and we recognise that sometimes the paths that we take in life or the decisions that we make may not be the ones that God is leading us to. So let us pause for a moment as we come before the God of hope, faithfulness, love and forgiveness. God of majesty and glory, we are thirsty for your grace. You made a way for us in the wilderness, and still in our foolishness we go astray. We hide our eyes from your presence. We do not listen to your word. 
we are lifeless when we ought to dance and speechless when we ought to sing. Forgive us, O Lord. Speak peace to our fearful hearts. Strengthen our weak hands and make firm our feeble knees as we seek to follow you in your holy way. Amen.
Our Bible readings for today are John chapter 14, verses 25 to 27, and John chapter 16, verse 33. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God peace is different to the world peace. So this week we've come to our flavour of peace. And as you may hear in the background, with the traffic roaring by and the mess that the world seems to be in at the moment, particularly in this country with a flurry of government resignations, it doesn't feel very peaceful at all. People everywhere search for peace. They sing songs about it and they travel on pilgrimage to find it. They even wage war to protect it. Many wealthy, famous and powerful people would trade everything for just one moment of peace. What they often find, however, is the world's false peace, which is different from the peace offered by Jesus. In John 14 verse 27, we heard... Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The peace offered by the world is an empty promise and can only bring temporary comfort. God's peace is a permanent peace, offered by the only one who can be trusted to keep his word and heal our sin. The world's peace is fleeting and changes with circumstances. During times of prosperity, nations experience temporary peace. But when economies struggle, countries find themselves in turmoil, perhaps even on the brink of civil war, as well as war with their neighbours. The peace of the world is a precarious thing. Conflict erupts when people are hungry. Peace disappears when circumstances turn ugly. But peace from God is a gift. My peace I give to you, Jesus says. It's not as the world gives, which is often twisted, self-serving and temporary. So what is God's peace about? Pre-Covid times, obviously, we used to pass and share the peace or wish each other peace in a service. But what do we mean by that? A chance to greet one another, especially those we haven't had a chance to say hello to. Wishing peace because we have that sense that Holy Communion isn't right if we're not at peace with each other. But here's a challenge for you. Do we go to those we've fallen out with Or do we avoid them? In Hebrew, a word for peace is shalom. It's about wholeness, a settledness, at peace with oneself and with one's neighbour. It becomes a greeting, wishing that blessing on friends. It's a deep sense of completion. And yet it can become so shallow in our hands because we settle for a shadow of peace and well-being. And yet, 
we see in Palestine and Israel, violence and hatred. Jesus wept over the city of peace, Jerusalem. Do you remember why? Because they did not recognise the time of God coming to them, not knowing what would bring them peace. It wasn't a military victory or expelling the enemy, whoever that enemy was. It was restoring a relationship that lay broken that they did not recognise. And Jesus had come to restore that for all. To redeem a wayward world that was focused on itself and its own superficial well-being. And they were missing the point. As Jesus enters Jerusalem in tears, it's the presence of the King, the Saviour, the Son, His presence that brings peace. It's why this gift of peace is tied up with the Holy Spirit, bringing his presence into our lives, his gift of peace. It's like the eagle that we saw earlier in one of the videos, soaring overhead with that bigger picture. And it's God who sees the bigger picture. And we're all scurrying around in our limited kind of lives and vision We don't see it all. We miss it. And we might miss him. Isn't that why we are at peace over struggles when he's there? Why prayer is such a positive thing? Because it brings his presence into a place. Because the gift that brings peace is his presence. There in the valley you are with me. I will be with you until the end of the age. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. My peace I give to you, Jesus says, because he will always be there through the Holy Spirit. So as a reflection on these first three flavours of the Spirit, Love, joy, peace. We read in these closing chapters of John that they are all his gift. Love as I have loved you. Greater love lays down his life for them. My joy may be in you and nothing will take that joy away. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. As Jesus teaches his disciples in these last hours before his arrest, he teaches about the Spirit coming. We find these first three flavours in abundance. Love, joy, peace. His presence simply bears this fruit. His gift to us. Not our efforts and plans, but his gift of grace that we don't deserve, but his desire for us is to be fruitful. The heart of these chapters is about the vine, about remaining in the vine, keeping close so that you will bear fruit that will last. So as we remain there, let's pause for a moment and be still before God.
Let us pray. As we pray for peace, our thoughts turn to a number of places and we name those we know before God's throne now. For the Ukraine, in the devastation and turmoil of the Russian invasion, where the noise and suffering of war are deafening. And for those who have the power to bring a ceasefire. For those caught up in the turmoil of government, where trust is lost, integrity questioned and decisions self-serving. And for those finally taking a stand. For those facing the trauma of physical struggles, with the virus on the rise again and pressures on the health service renewed. For those having treatment postponed especially for those whom it will become too late. For those facing the pressures of exams and results, where their value lies in achievements and where hopes are often dashed. For those in the dark valley of grief after losing a loved one, where life has paused and changed. And as we pray for peace, may we be agents of your presence, that your gift of peace may be given. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Tell out my soul the greatness of the Lord Unnumbered blessings give my spirit Voice tender to me The promise of His word In God my Savior shall my heart rejoice
So may the grace of God uphold you, the peace of God surround you, the love of God flow from you, and the strength of God protect you and bring you safely through this day. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.